Well, good evening, everyone. It's day 23 of my carnivore diet adventure. And a um, couple of items to talk about today. Um, not much movement from yesterday, which is pretty much what I expected. I put on a little bit of weight, but that's water just because I went to the gym. Um, so not really concerned about that at all. Um, but one thing I did want to talk about is I finally got some electrolyte um, supplements. So I went with Revive. Seemed like the best ones. They had flavors that I thought I might like. The amounts are about the same as the Element ones, but they cost about half as much. Not half, but they cost less than the Element ones. And um, so I'm going to try and see what they're like. I got the variety pack, so there's four different flavors. So I can try them and see which ones I like. I generally like lemon lime type stuff or citrusy type flavors, but I think it's got raspberry, watermelon, and peach also, as well as lemon lime. So we'll start doing that every day and see if I feel any different or have any anything different with the electrolytes versus when I don't have them. Um, so that was one thing. The next thing is someone stole my trainers from the gym. Now, I know it's my fault. I left them in a locker unlocked, but I've been going to the same gym for five years, six, five years now, I guess. And I've left stuff there tons of times. Tons of people leave stuff there all the time. As far as I know, nothing ever gets nicked. Nothing ever disappears. I checked with the office, everything. So they needed replacing anyway. So it's not that big of a travesty. It's not like I just bought them and somebody stole a brand new pair. Like they are the oldest ragged out you know, they've got like a thousand miles of running on them kind of shoes anyway. So it's just more the fact that someone stole them, which pisses me off. So I've got to get some new trainers. Um, that threw me off. I, I was going to go to the gym and sort of get a workout in, but then I didn't have any, all I had was my motorcycle boots and I wasn't going to walk around barefoot. So I didn't get to the gym today. I'm going to be out in London all day tomorrow, but hopefully I'll be home in time that I can go to the gym in the evening. And I'll maybe I'll I'll sort some different shoes out. I do have other pair. Um, so that was that. That's the other thing that happened today. Um, I had sorry, I had a lot of calories today. So I had normally I kind of have 15, 16, 1700 calories. I had nearly twenty one hundred calories today, but my carbs were nineteen point eight. So most of that is in fat and in protein, which is fine. So I think that's totally fine. And we'll see how I feel tomorrow and how I get on over the next couple of days. Like I said, I'm out all day tomorrow and that'll be fun. I'll look, Again, I'll be in an event where they're not really going to have anything to eat. So I'll make sure and have some breakfast before I go. And then that way I shouldn't be hungry while I'm there anyway. And then I have a meeting after the event, so that'll be around lunchtime. So I'll just have to be a little careful and make sure that I'm sort of selective with what I eat, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I, know I, I know I seem to talk about poop a lot on this channel, and I don't know why, um, but it seems I've sort of got back to normal. So whatever was going on, I have cut back on the peanut butter a little bit which is probably maybe making a difference. Like I said before, I've switched over to macadamia nuts, although I think I'm eating too many because they're really, really Moorish. And when I want a snack, I just end up just getting a little bowl and I just kind of have a few and then I have a few more. And I need to move them away from my desk because they're just sitting there and it makes it too easy to just pour some more in. So that's partly why I think I have more calories but I'm not really, again, I'm not really worried about the calories and all that because I'm still staying low carb. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. As far as I'm feeling, still feeling super energetic. What I do find is I sleep better at night and then I wake up in the morning and I get up and I'm energetic and I get up and I get out and I get through the day and I'm, I feel really good during the day. And then, but when I come home, I'm actually really tired at night which is probably why I'm sleeping better, and particularly if I go to the gym. But even if I don't go to the gym, I find myself yawning quite a lot and that sort of thing. So I, I don't know if that's part of it or maybe that has something to do with the electrolytes and, and energy 
and general energy levels. I don't know, but um, but we'll see. So like I said, I've got eight packs to start off with. I'll try all the different flavors over the next week, see which ones I like the most, and then I'll order some more, and then I'll keep on with the electrolytes as I go forward. What else? I um, I watched I watched a couple of videos today from people who've been doing this long term over years and years, and a lot of them were smart enough to do a hey this is a before and look at me you know look at what I look like this is my day one of the diet and this is and, but they were doing it to diet and I didn't do any of that I just hey I'm starting a diet so I feel like I missed a trick there but whatever. Um, but we'll see, and yeah, I mean, we're the 23rd now, so we've got, what, eight days left of the month, and then we can do the monthly recap and sort of see where we are then, but anyway, I'm just waffling to fill time now, so that's it for today. I'll let you know how I get on tomorrow evening, and until then, if you're dieting, stick to it, and otherwise, we'll have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.